How to rename a file or directory using an Ansible task on a remote host? I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. First of all, let me demystify that I would like to suggest you a solution using only Ansible native modules. So we are not using any shell module that invoke the Unix utility Envy because uh, I would like a hidden potent uh, solution fully based on Ansible. Today we are talking about two modules, copy and file. The full name are ansible.builtin.copy and ansible.builtinfile, which means are part of a collection of modules built in with Ansible and shipped with it. Both are modules pretty stable and out for here. The purpose of copy module is to copy file to a remote uh, location. Once the file is successfully copied, we could use the module file to delete the source. You got it? Let's go. The parameter list is pretty wide, but I will summarize the most useful for this use case. For the copy module, the only required parameter is dest that specify the destination path. The src, the source file, is presumed to be in the controller host. It could be a relative or absolute path. Since version 2.0, in copy module you can use remote underscore src parameter if true, it will search the file in the remote target machine for the src. From version 2.8, copy module remote underscore src support recursive copy, which means that you can handle also directories. For the module file, the only required parameter is path, where you specify the file system path of a file you are going to edit. The state defines the type of object we are moving. Default is file, but we could also handle directory, hard link, symlink, and whatever. I will demonstrate how we could combine these two models to obtain our use case. Let's move forward. Let's jump in a real life playbook to rename file or directory with Ansible. Are you ready? Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you a playbook on how to rename a file or directory. So let me begin my play with uh, a named rename file or directory. So in the future will be more explicative. Let me target all hosts and let me define two variables, the source and the destination. In my case, I will use my src for source and my dst as destination. Both will be file in the home directory of the user, in my case, foo and bar. What a fantasy. And let's begin the task list. So let me define uh, copy file with new name new name here we are no just a uh, just name and uh, this need to be under the name because each task need to have a name for the best practice 
So let me use uh, the Ansible module ansible.builtin.copy. Here we are with uh, different parameters. First of all, let me start uh, with remote underscore src just not to forget and let me switch to true the source will be the value of my my src variable here we are and the destination will be my dst the value of my dst because uh, i'm going to to create uh, a copy of a file so here we are the my dst value here we are so with this task we create a copy of a file let me now remove the old file remove old file i'm going to use ansible.builtin.file module and uh, i need to specify oh let's put a one empty line just making more readable my playbook uh, the file that i'm going to delete will be on uh, path of my src so will be my source file that is going to be deleted and state uh, absent now this playbook will be enough for accomplishing my task but it will be better to check if uh, source file is present before taking any action otherwise uh, here so let's start uh, with a new task that is going only to check if file is present let me invoke uh, the ansible.builtin.stat uh, module with uh, one parameter that would be the path my src and let me save the output to a variable using register dash check underscore file underscore name here we are maybe it could be useful to print a debug just to let you know with which one are the file well just to let you know the structure of this uh, output so I'm going to use ansible.builtin.debug and uh, let me print uh, a message to display the variable. Oh, I can display directly the variable with var and check underscore file name. Here we are. Now that we have uh, this uh, variable, we can access also the members and a condition um, the execution of my playbook to the existence of a file. In my case, uh, I will use, uh, well, I will uh, put the when check underscore file underscore name start exist. So I will uh, execute the copy and remove only if my source file are present. Otherwise, my playbook will arise a problem if a file doesn't exist so this is my final playbook composed by one play with four different tasks let's jump to console to see the execution oh let me fix this little typo before proceeding it's not dst but is dest the parameter here we are now it's perfect Welcome to my console. Let me first of all connect to the target machine and verify that the full file is present. So ssh devops at demoexample.com. Here we are. File foo is present uh, on the home directory. And uh, let me execute my playbook. So ansible dash playbook dash my inventory file and then my playbook rename file.yml here we are doing this execution I'm expecting some changes here we are two changes and five okay status 
which means that the file foo was successfully renamed to bar. Let me connect to the target machine just to be sure that uh, this was successful. Let me list the file in the home directory and here we are. File bar is uh, renamed. Let me remove file bar and create a directory named foo. So I will demonstrate, uh, yeah, also I would like to create uh, a file inside the foo named example.txt. Let me list so we can verify the content of foo and the example.txt file. Let me exit the target host and uh, let me execute the same exact playbook with no change. So ansible dash playbook dash e inventory and then my rename playbook. It will take a while to analyze everything, two changes, five OK status, so we are going to connect again to our demo target machine. And here we are, we have a bar directory with inside is not exactly what we were expecting because inside the bar there is a full directory and the example txt but it's still a rename operation maybe we need to be careful about the uh, handing slash but still the same playbook can um, perform both action rename a file or a directory so it was still successful let me now demonstrate you remove the bar directory with rm minus r because it is recursive and was removed all the tree. Now nothing is present on my home directory and I would like to launch again my playbook to check it out the result if no file is matching this condition. So we have a skipping status because as you can see in the debug status the stat property has exists false which means that no file nor directory are present in this folder matching the criteria. In my case is a foo but you can customize for your custom use case. So we see how this playbook uh, is working without any file, how it's working with uh, one file to rename and how it's working with uh, one directory. Good job Ansible! Now you know how to rename file or directory with Ansible. Subscribe to channel to not miss the next episode of Ansible Pilot and have a great day!